Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, lecturing Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to create a basic KPI dashboard in Excel 2010. So first, a little word about KPIs. KPI stands for Key Performance uh, Indi Indicators. And I'm using in this example six KPIs, and these are taken from my book, which is an introduction to business systems analysis, a book about problem solving techniques and strategies. And in this, I've built a KPIs on first the project management constraints of time, cost, and quality scope. And to those three KPIs, I'm adding uh, three more resources, efficiency, and reliability. So I'm transferring those over here to the left hand side, and these are my six KPIs in the example that I'm going to use here. Uh, you may have different KPIs or different values that will depend on your organization. And in this data here, I've got five different products. I could have services, I could have processes, many more than the five I have here. I'm just using this uh, to create a simple KPI dashboard like the one you see in front of you here. On this dashboard, I've got three colors. Um, any value that's green is a value that falls between 90 and 100 percent. Any value that's amber or orange falls between 80 and 89 percent. And you get a red light if it's less than 80 percent. So green is acceptable performance right down to red, which is unacceptable performance. So visually, at a glance here, I can see um, overall how my performance is doing. You can see there's quite a lot of green dots. Uh, product D has green dots all the way, but product A has got some problems. It's only got one green dot and it's got four red dots. So clearly there's some problems there. And at a glance, I can see that without actually having to dig in and examine the actual values there. So let's see how we go about making a KPI dashboard like this. So in this next worksheet here, I've got the same data values as I had on the previous worksheet. So all the data I've just transferred here, and I'm going to build the KPI dash dashboard from scratch. I'm also going to use the same rules uh, that I applied in the previous chart. So 90% or above gets a green light. The next value, amber, is 80 to 90%, or red, less than 80%. So I'm going to use that. And the good thing about Excel is I only have to apply this rule once to all my data. So the first thing to do is select all data in your data range that you want to have on your dashboard. On the home ribbon, uh, over towards the right hand side, there's a conditional formatting option. So that's the option that we need, so select that. And go down to the bottom and I'm going to create a new rule for conditional formatting for the data that I have selected. So let's select new rule here. And this gives us a new formatting rule window. And up in the top, the rule type that I'm going to use is the default one, which is to format all cells in the range selected based on their values, because that's what I want to do with my green, amber, and red options. Down in the bottom, I'm going to format their cells based on their values using a different format style than the one we have here. This is a two-color scale. There's also a three-color scale option, a data bar, or an icon sets option. So my icons are my traffic light symbol, so I'm going to use that. So let's select icon sets. And this gives us our traffic light symbols that you see here. If you click the down arrow beside icon style, you've got a lot of other options that you may choose here. I'm going to stick with the traffic light ones for the moment. Over here in the, the bottom right hand corner of the new formatting rule window, there is type. So I'm going to change that to number because these are the numerical values I have up there. Do it for both rules here. In the value section, well, I want green to be 90 or over, so I just simply type in 90. I want amber to be any value of 80 or over. So type in 80. And I don't have to type in any value for red because all other values will be less than 80. So if I click OK here, my icons, my traffic lights, are added to my dashboard. And these are the same values as you saw on the one I prepared earlier. So you can see, once again, product E has got green lights all the way. And product A, there are some problems with. So this dashboard gives me a visual representation that I can examine and it will also look pretty good in reports or even in presentations that you might uh, um, be making to uh, a select audience. So uh, KPI dashboards sound good but they also look good as well. And you can come along and change the values here. So let's say take the time KPI for product A. Let's say we make an improvement here and we change the rating here from 75 up to 85. So let's change that. It's a red light at the moment. If I change it to 85 it should change to an orange light, which it does. If I take an orange value, let's say 80 over here, and make a major improvement to that and get it up to 90, I've got a green light for that. So however you feed your values into this, whether it's manually or whether you've got another uh, spreadsheet or another system feeding them into this, uh, you can update your data and get a, a KPI dashboard, let's say a once a week report or something like that that you were doing. 
The last thing I want to do here is, uh, let's say you want to change the style here, so it's quite simply just going back in and changing the rule. So select all your data, click on conditional formatting, go to manage rules this time. We've only created one rule so far, so that rule is listed here, it's called icon set, and I click the edit rule option here. And this just gives me the window that I had before. I can change the values for if I want to. So for example, if I want my green to be 85 or over, I just change that here. So let's do that, 85. If I want to change the icon style from those types of traffic lights to, let's say, more solid looking real traffic lights, so select that, click OK, and click OK once more. And my values change in behind. You can see because I've relaxed my rules, the green light is now 85 or over. So I've got a, a lot less amber lights here than I had before. And I've also changed the icon set as well. So this shows you how to create a very basic KPI dashboard using Excel 2010. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.